गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न मॉड्यूल नंबर सेकंड पार्ट ए ग्रामर फॉर कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जामिनेशंस पार्ट सेकंड इन द पार्ट फर्स्ट वी लर्न अबाउट द होमोनिम्स वर्ड फॉर्मेशंस वोकैबलरी एंड अबाउट द वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूशन इन विच वन वर्ड रिप्लेसेस अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स and second part we learn in it homonyms that is similarity in spellings and pronunciation we confused and make mistake due to that particular pronunciation of the word those words are called as a homonyms having similar in pronunciation but different in meaning after that we learned that words similar in form and different in meaning or usage are called paronyms and now we are going to learn use of phrases use of phrases a phrase is a group of two or more words functioning as a meaningful unit within a sentence or a clause it is con- commonly considered as a unit between a word and a clause <clears throat> it is determined by the head word in it with one or more modifiers the main types of phrases are noun phrase verb phrase adjective phrase adverb phrase and prepositional phrase remember friends there is a functioning word two or more words in a phrase group of two or more words called as a phrase second part those words having meaningful called as a meaningful unit and third part considered as a unit between a word and a clause fourth part <coughs> in phrase there is a head word and other words are worked as modifiers so here today we are going to learn the types of phrases first phrase noun phrase in this phrase a noun or a pronoun is the head word there can be articles determiners adjectives adverbs as modifiers in noun phrase the head word is noun or pronoun and which words are modifiers works as modifiers articles adjectives and adverbs a noun phrase can function as the subject object or complete complement in a sentence or clause what is the structure of noun phrase c girl the word girl is a noun noun a girl a in the phrase is a determiner and girl is a noun a beautiful girl first a is determiner beautiful is adjective and girl is noun a very beautiful girl c again a is determiner beautiful is adverb girl <coughs> very is adverb beautiful is adjective and girl is a noun function a girl is an asset in the family in a family a girl underlined is a subject of that sentence and it is a noun phrase what is the function of a noun phrase in the sentence is a subject next example prepositional phrase that is prepositional phrases a prepositional phrase a phrase that comprises of a preposition and a noun or pronoun as head 
is called a prepositional phrase it can also be formed as preposition plus noun phrase prepositional phrases function as adverbials in clauses for example ramesh is going to the garden it is a adverbial phrase why because it indicates the place that is to to is a preposition and the garden is a noun phrase p plus n p seema always sings in a melodious voice again adverbial how it is adverbial that is in is a preposition and a melodious voice melodious is a adverb adjective so adverb or adjective so it is called as a adverbial prepositional phrases are always most of the time are functions as a adverbial in clauses next take next part or next type verb phrase a verb phrase is a phrase composed of at least at least one verb and supported by auxiliary or modal verbs it functions as a predicator so each and every time we can see that what is the function of that phrase is indicated in this your in this uh, module and you must remember what is the structure of the verb phrase and next part what is the function of that verb phrase any phrase not only the verb phrase he plays chess it is a plain example plays is a main verb next he was playing chess auxiliary plus main verb auxiliary is was he will have played chess auxiliary plus auxiliary will have plus main verb placed uh, played function what is the function salim has drawn a picture salim is a subject has drawn predicator and plus a picture is a object so in this way we can understand what is the function of verb phrase it is a predicator for subject and object next part praiser verb that is a praiser verb is a combination of a verb and one or two particles the particles can be either prepositions or adverbs or both it creates a different meaning other than its original meaning so how it is a combination of verb and one or two particles for example bring up it is a bring is a verb up is a preposition give up examples look after break into step down next example sort out put up look forward look down look forward to look down upon set off call off etc see those are called as a praiser verb so remember it those are the example are of praiser verb make a list of those praiser verbs then only you can understand what is the meaning of praiser verb and how it is used and creates a different meaning only two words create a meaning bring up give up look after those are called praiser verbs there are two types of praiser verbs that is transitive and intransitive praiser verbs 
and second one separable and non separable present verbs first example a transitive present verb requires an object otherwise it does not make complete sense for example they will sort out the problem next and he threw away the ball she looked after her child those are examples of transitive present verbs next an intransitive present verb does not require an object in the sentence to complete the meaning remember how transitive present verb requires an object you can't say they will sort out it don't have it doesn't have any meaning but you have to say they will sort out the problem and in transitive verb in transitive present verb there is not requirement of object in the sentence to complete the meaning for example the dog ran away there is no need to tell where it where the dog ran away next example she was brought up with care who uh, care for her and uh, how care how uh, her care is uh, taken is not given here the sufficient example is she was brought up with care so how it is a intransitive verb intransitive present verb another type of present verb is the verb whose words verbs and preposition can be separated to be used in different place in sentence they can also be used in the joined form for example please turn on the light or please turn the light on next example they picked up their member from college they picked their member up from college so in this example it can be separated next a non separatable present verb is the verb whose words verbs and preposition cannot be separated to be used in different places in sentence they are used together for example the manager looked into the matter you can't say the manager looked the matter into you have to use the manager looked into the matter he is trying to give up bad habits so if we separate it it will change the meaning that's why we have to say he is trying to give up bad habits you can't say he is trying to give bad habits up it will change the meaning instead of it in non separable present verb you have to use he is trying to give up bad habits next example of praise is adjective praise a praise that acts as an adjective in a sentence is called an adjective praise it also modifies a noun or a pronoun it includes adjectives and modifiers example the rose in the garden was very beautiful the car she gave him was very luxurious these are the example of adjective praise very is modifier luxurious is adjective so what is the function of adjective praise it modifies a noun or pronoun he ran very fast is modifies ran very fast modifies a noun he
or the rose in the garden was very beautiful here it modifies a noun the rose next example adverb praise or adverbial praise that is a praise which acts as an adverb in a sentence is called an adverb praise it modifies a verb or other adverbs in the sentence remember adjective modifies a noun or pronoun rather is and adverb modifies a verb or other adverbs in the sentence he ran very fast it modifies ran ran is used for fast and very is adverb he ran very fast in the race next example she worked rather miraculously there are different types of adverb praises they denote time place direction manner frequency with the help of prepositions they are as follows see the examples of adverb praise adverbial praise of time for example in the evening at night on monday during my childhood for some time it in it suggest time since long time for an hour by the time etc those are the examples which indicate the time that's why it is called as adverbial praise of time next example next uh, type adverbial praise of place for example at home in delhi city on the table above the roof below this bridge near the garden beside the railway station etc so this it mentions the place that's why it is called as a adverbial praise of place next a uh, type adverbial praise of direction for example to kolhapur across fields along the lake so it indicates the direction up the mountain down the hill towards the mall behind the fuel station between two towers under the tree etc so here we can understand how the adverbial phrase of time place and direction is used in the sentence next adverbial phrase of manner for example in a beautiful manner very sweetly rather fast etc adverbial phrase of frequency for example twice a month frequently rarely once a week etc here we can understand how the adverbial phrase used there is a adverbial phrase <coughs> of time of place of direction of manner and of frequency those are the types of adverbial phrase here in your textbook there is a task on page number 34 see that task task number 3 identify the type of the underlined phrases in the following sentences so in this way you can understand the use of phrases in the sentences here is one example first example on page number 34 the boy in the shop is my friend in the shop is underlined it means what is uh, the type of phrase in the shop in is a preposition the shop is a noun so it is a prepositional phrase try to solve another examples next examples from your textbook in the next lecture we will learn about use of tenses thank you